Part of 95 has collapsed between exit 32 and exit 30. That's Academy and Cotman. You can see the huge plumes of smoke and flames right here. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. All right, so before we get into this podcast right here of the I-95 bridge collapse, I would like to give a super shout out to Truckers Path. It is the Truckers app for truckers. If you need to know how to get around I-95, that good Truckers Path, and it should be able to route you in a safe space, hopefully, around that good i-95 bridge collapse truckers path make sure you download it today from the app store and google play breaking 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 what well, is probably might not be breaking but it's probably might be a little bit late but my guy shout out to d nitty for sending me this clip about i-95 up in PA and if I'm not mistaken I believe it's in Philadelphia where the 95 bridge collapse in this news article right here we're gonna find out a tanker truck exploded up under the bridge and took out the I-95 freeway no more wasting time let's get it Hold on and look at these dramatic pictures on the left of your screen is a live look at the highway from chopper six. The collapse looks like a crater on the interstate on the right. You're looking at video from earlier this morning. That is the fire from a tanker truck underneath the on ramp, which appears to have caused the collapse. This is causing a major highway headache right before the return to work on Monday for so many people who rely on I-95. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson is live on the scene with the very latest and Becca, this will take some time to repair. I know a news conference just happened. Uh, it did, Nydia, and what we learned is that 95 is going to be inoperable for a very long time. And I can show you behind me, this fire is still burning. Crews still working to put out some of this smoke. A big question right now is what is burning? What is inside that tanker truck that caught fire? It was underneath the 95 overpass over Cotman Avenue. That's a road. It's not a place where people typically park their cars. So where it caught fire, it caused 95 to collapse above it on the northbound side those dramatic images you see you can see some of our video of the initial fire it happened around just before 6 30 this morning on 95 northbound near Cotman Avenue of course that tanker truck appeared to be underneath the roadway that fire of course caused then the road to collapse above it 95 as people were driving it this morning one question we have at this point is what's the extent of the injuries here if anyone were hurt after this collapse, we saw videos of cars driving over as the road was starting to sink and all, all of the smoke and all of that fire coming from underneath the roadway, just terrifying images, thinking that people are on that road. Of course, I, I, I don't know if you can hear it, Nydia, some of the explosions that are happening. We did ask the fire chief about that. We think that some of the fuel lines that are underneath the road are popping right now. Very, a very terrifying scene here, really hear from the uh, fire battalion chief. We did have a collapse of 95, okay, on the, excuse me, on the northbound side, okay? And the southbound side is compromised by heavy fire. It looked like we had a lot of heat and heavy fire underneath the underpass. Okay? And we have Chopper live over the scene. You can see the road is quite literally collapsed. This is a state route, of course, 95, a road that so many people rely on just, just for commuting to get to and from work. A very busy road in 95 that is inoperable. Part of it on the ground, of course, it collapsed. It literally collapsed. Back out here live now, we are still hoping to learn more information, including, of course, if anyone were hurt in this incident. And we are worried about what is burning, what could have been inside that tanker truck. We did talk to the city about this. They said they are very concerned about the environmental impacts of this. There are agencies from all over the state coming out now, coordinating as the response to this continues. For now, Live here near the collapse, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Nydia. Dramatic images and still so many questions. Becca, thank you. Well, there you have it. The I-95 is going to be done for a hot, hot minute. Part of the highway has collapsed. Looks like a big old crater. Um, 
the other side of the highway has been uh you know has been damaged so ain't no telling you know if that's gonna collapse anytime soon but then again like i said shout out to my guy um he says per vatum that if anyone stays up in the northeast corridor you know that rides the 95 you gonna have some major major changes as a portion of i-95 collapse due to a tanker explosion up under the bridge damn it man hmm what happened though what what caused the tanker to explode nobody don't know uh was it uh you know was it on purpose was it an accident was it what was it what was it i i mean why would why would the why would the uh tanker be up under the bridge don't know but it happened they said that as they said in the news article that it was a place where a whole bunch of people you know park but of course you know the traffic is gonna be a mess up for the whole east coast because that 95 corridor that's major <laughs> that's major right there that's that's the connection right there i-95 right there and of course it's between exits 32 and 30 so truck drivers if you're in the area tomorrow just know that it's gonna be a major major pain for you guys because they gotta figure out truck routes they're gonna have to figure out ways to get you guys around and it's 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 gonna be a total total shit show tomorrow if they don't have it together by the night i guarantee you it's gonna be in the morning y'all 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 gonna have some issues it's gonna be closed for quite a while quite a while and understand that this is a <laughs> major major situation if if you're a lease op or owner operator because you know us you know us company drivers we don't get a say into where we going we probably might have a say but we might not have a say i don't know but uh for you company drivers and lease ops i would say stay from up off the 95 corridor for a while because this ain't going to be a quick fix they're not gonna they're not gonna have the bridge fits by the end of next week no they're gonna have to do all that good cleanup then they gotta go in there and see what happened then they gotta go and assess the situation e everything takes steps there's levels to this game and yeah <laughs> so for you drivers that that's that goes up in the northeast via 95 just know that you guys gotta go somewhere around and just know that traffic is going to be hot and heavy for months just know that this is no joke no joke at all no joke at all so the 81 if you guys uh gonna probably go that route just know that that 81 is going to be slammed with every truck that runs the 95 and you know of course the cars is going to give you guys some problems too so this is a major this is a major for the for the trucking industry for uh the 95 corridor so it's going to be a major issue for uh the north east as well so drivers be safe out there um i don't know if there's any injuries i'm hoping that everybody was okay at the time of the explosion but just imagine well no don't imagine i i don't want you to imagine that because i'm sure it'll be freak freaky as hell so don't imagine just
hope that everybody that was uh on the highway being that it was a sunday i'm sure traffic was super super light i'm just glad that it didn't happen on a you know on a major day like monday through friday it you know the damages and the injuries and probably some fatalities could have been worse than what it was today who is that dj in 